please keep nine minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Noor, one of the children's hospital, one of the doctors in, one of the children's doctors here. Am I with uh, Mrs. Lewis, the mother of Landa? Yes. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, doctor, but I'm very worried about Linda. Uh, yes, I can understand. That's why I'm here to talk to you about uh, Linda. Today, I will take some, uh, I will talk to you about her condition and take some notes. Is that okay to you? Yes, yes, doctor, no problem. Okay. Uh, please, can you let me know what is the, the main problem with Linda now? What is your concern? Yes, Dr. No, Linda, she has a fever. No, maybe the, this is eight days. And uh, GB gave me antibiotic, uh, different antibiotic, and still she has a fever. Okay, now the fever is no. eight days. Can, uh, yes, I know you're worried because it's a long fever. Uh, can you tell me, can you describe me the fever? Yes, doctor, fever, it is uh, um, on and off. It's, uh, I, I measure it. Uh, most of the time, 38.5, uh, maybe uh, one or two times, uh, three to 39. Okay. Uh, you, uh, apart from antibiotics, anything else you use to reduce the, to reduce fever, what you use? I use paracetamol. Okay. Only and I'm uh, doing hair sponging. Okay. But I feel she's, she's shivering and sometimes maybe uh, this one, she gets uh, cold uh, with the sponging. Okay. So you give uh, medication and sponging, but still uh, she, it will reduce with this and again come back. No, it's not time. It's reduced, but it uh, take time. Mm, it will take time, but again, come back. Uh, how often she's getting this fever? Four hours, six hours, eight hours? How is it? Uh, yeah, six hours. Then the fever, it will come back again. Uh, okay. Uh, apart from fever, she has any other uh, problem like cough or? No cough. No cough. Or any pain in any part of the body? Oh, yes. I don't know. She she didn't tell me that uh, she has pain, but uh, she's refusing to walk and run. Um, she refusing to play. Refusing to play. You don't see any joint swellings for her or anything? No, but when I dress her, I feel she's not comfortable. Okay, it means you think that she has joint pain, that's why she is not comfortable? Maybe, maybe. Okay. Uh, anything in the hands you see? No. Uh, no, uh, and even the small, joint, small joints in the hands, you don't notice anything in her? No, no. Okay. Uh, you to as from the GP letter, I got to know that when she was child, she had some problem in her heart. Can you tell me about it? Oh, Doctor Rias, this is a long story. Uh, actually, uh, after her birth, okay, um, they gave me the uh, give her. She admitted in. Uh, uh, the NICU and started her medicine to open the uh, hole uh, between two large vessels until uh, age of three days. They make like another uh, opening using balloon. This one to open the uh, wall between uh, two rooms in, in uh, upper parts of the, her heart. Okay. And, uh, 
So it was it yeah. this when she was three days old, right? Yes, this one done at the age of three of three years, but later on, three days at the age of years. no, no, three days, three but days. at the age of three weeks, okay. another surgery, major surgery done for her. Mm. Uh, they open her heart and they correct the uh, blood tube for her. Okay. They, they correct the position of the blood tubes. Okay, uh, due, due to this operation, after operations, did she had any problem? After both operations, any problems? Yes, uh, she, she admitted for a long time, maybe two to three weeks, as there is some fluid collected in her heart and lung, and it's required a long time. Okay, then after afterwards, she was fine. She improved after uh, the admission for two to three weeks. She was well? Yes, um, maybe we admitted uh, six months later on. She has chest infection okay. one time. Uh, after uh, three weeks, when she was three weeks old, she was done operation. Then after six months, she has chest infection and admitted. Yes. Yeah. Uh, during that time, did she stayed long in the hospital or she was discharged early? Uh, maybe she stayed for 10 days. Okay. Did she needed any ICU admission or anything that time? No, uh, yes, after surgery. And then no, not, not for the surgery, surgery at six months of age. No, 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 no. 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 Do, do you remember what they told you? It was just chest infection or anything else? Uh, any other problem at six months? No, I think just uh, chest infection. Okay. Uh, since uh, any other admission till now, she's two and a half years old, apart from this three? No. Okay. But sometimes we are visiting the emergency department, then we'll discharge. Uh, medications, any, uh, she's on any medications presently apart from the paracetamol and antibiotics for her heart, any medication? No, no, but we are taking, uh, she's daily taking amoxicillin. Okay, is from the, from before she's taking amoxicillin? Yes. Okay, this is to prevent infection, the doctor said, told you? Oh, uh, yes, yes, most likely. Okay, uh, you are following with anyone because she has heart condition, which was diagnosed from birth. You are, are you following with any of the doctors? Yes, I uh, follow with the cardiologist. Okay, apart from that, any of the doctors? No. No. Okay. Can you tell me about her growth? How is she growing? No, she is growing poorly. Um, weight in a uh, bill in, in second, uh, and uh, sometimes below, below, and sometimes she's just catching the second centile. Okay. Uh, for in the height. Height on the second centile also. Okay, I will ask you quickly some of the questions about her. Uh, do you notice any time any abnormal movements in her? Five minutes left. Five minutes left. Okay. No. Any abnormal movements you notice? No. 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 Okay. Anything in any weakness in her any part of the body? No. Okay. Her oral, uh, her uh, mouth uh, hygiene is good? Yes, good. Okay. Uh, anything in the chest? I mean, cough, any cough or any other? Cough? No cough. No cough. Any, you think that uh, you, when you see her or touch the, her heart, any other, any fast heartbeat or anything? Yes, yes. She has fast heartbeat. Okay. Uh, any she, any tummy? She's complaining for any tummy pain or 
No. P and P is fine. Oh uh, yes. In okay. In skin, do you see anything? Any rash or anything? Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, there is some red spots. In her um hand. She is uh, vaccinated up to date. Yes, yes. I'm keen to Any special up. vaccines? Uh, she get a flu vaccine. Regarding the family, anyone has similar conditions with heart problem or anything in the family? No, but my mom, she died with a heart problem. Okay. Uh, you have other children? No, this is my first child. Okay, uh, are you and your husband related? No. I want to ask you, how is this condition uh, impacting you, her uh, heart condition and her fever? Yes, um, actually I lost my job uh, before I was working. But now she's taking uh, all my time. So I'm staying with her all the time. Any, uh, okay. uh, any financial support you're uh, receiving? Uh, it is difficult to take, but um, that's okay. That means you're not receiving the financial support? No. You and your husband are relative? No. Okay, sorry. Your husband is with you? Mm, he's working um, away. He, he come just uh, two days per week. He come uh, only at the weekend. He's supporting you financially for to taking care of uh, Landa? Uh, yes, he's trying maximum for that. Can you, about the pregnancy, during the pregnancy, you have any problem during the pregnancy with Landa? Yes, actually, they told us that Landa, she has problem in her heart uh, during pregnancy. For that, we referred for the specialist uh, center to deliver there. It is near uh, to a cardiac uh, center. Okay. Yeah, it's good that she was diagnosed before so that you can take the right action at right time. So after delivery, you told me that she had all these operations. Uh, development, how is, is she developing same like her peers? She's developing, but uh, I feel she's slow and compared to other kids, which I know. Okay, uh, I want to ask you, do, do you think that I missed anything which is important, which you want to tell me about the Landa's condition? No. Okay, uh, do you, one, one question, do you remember the antibiotic, uh, what uh, was given by the GP, do you know? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay, but you. I cannot remember the name. Uh, okay, but you used it properly. Now, how many days you use this antibiotic? Now five days. Now five days, but you are using it right time and right dose. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Lewis. Thanks. Sir. Time's up. Okay. So I will present the case now, okay? Mm -hmm. Today I took a history from Mrs. Lewis, the mother of Landa. Uh, she's a two and a half years old girl with uh, presenting with fever from eight days on and off. Fever spiking up to 39 uh, degree associated with shivering. Every, every six hours she has fever. Relieves with uh, paracetamol, but again uh, comes back. Um, 
her significant past history is at three days old she had uh, when she was three days old uh, uh, she had she was diagnosed with transposition of she was diagnosed during the pregnancy about that she has an heart problem at three days old she was admitted and operated i think to start with palliative surgery was done and then at three weeks again one more operation was uh, done for her uh, and uh, she has one more admission at the age of six months with chest infection She's uh, following up with cardiology team and she's on uh, amoxicillin as the prophylaxis, uh, uh, as an antibiotic prophylaxis. Mm, uh, she, uh, she's on second centile for both weight and height and slow in development. Uh, regarding the family history, it is impacting the mother because she lost the job in taking care of uh, Landa and uh, they are not taking any financial support, uh, but the father is also supporting them. Uh, no significant family history of similar condition, but the, uh, her grandmother died uh, due to a cardiac problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. With this uh, presentation, can you tell me your differential diagnosis? Yeah. Uh, my first differential diagnosis will be infectious endocarditis. Okay. Second, prolonged fever in two and a half years old. It can be Kawasaki's disease. Okay. What's the thing supporting Kawasaki in this patient? There is some uh, skin spots and prolonged fever, prolonged fever more than eight days despite taking antibiotics. Okay. Mm. And, uh, so my top of the... What's the... Yes, in Kawasaki disease. Uh, what is the type of a skin spot? It's uh, blanching, blanching macular rash. Do you have other differential diagnosis? We have to rule out sepsis also in this child. Mm -hmm. To okay, how are you going to manage this patient? Yes, I would like to uh, completely if, do complete physical examination, including the vital signs uh, to know her. Uh, and uh, I would like to completely examine her chest, abdomen, and also the CNS system. And I, uh, I want to send some important investigations for her because it's a prolonged fever of eight days. I will send CBC, CRP, blood cultures. Blood culture, we may need uh, multiple blood cultures to rule out uh, uh, infective endocarditis. How many blood cultures do you want to take? At least two, two blood cultures, 12 hours apart. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I would like to do urgent echocardiography for this child. Okay. Looking for what? Uh, looking for any vegetations in the heart, in the valves or in the endocardium. Mm -hmm. uh, my most diagnostic investigations here will be blood for the support for diagnosis will be blood culture and echocardiography. So and why you are you suspecting infective endocarditis? Because this child has a past history of, uh, she was born with transposition of great arteries and followed by two operations were done for her. Uh, this is one of the risk for infective endocarditis. Mm. And also, okay. if, if, the vegetations are not diagnostic with echocardiography. Sometimes they go for uh, 
uh, PET CT scan in these patients. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also I want to do complete uh, even urine analysis, urine culture and sensitivity to rule out if there is no other focus of infection. Uh -huh. If there are any CNS weakness or anything, I would also like to do the brain, uh, uh, CT scan or MRI for her. Uh -huh. Also explanation of joint pain. Can you repeat the question? What's the explanation of joint pain? How you are going to explain the joint pain? Again, in the, in the small vessels in the joints, there can be small thrombus which is blocking, which can cause the swelling uh, and uh, redness and uh, pain in the joints. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you arguing to treat this patient? Yes, uh, for this patient, I would like to involve my consultant and also the pediatric cardiologist. I, I, once the, it's the diagnosis of infective endocarditis is confirmed, I want to involve the endocarditis team, infective endocarditis team. Because mm -hmm. the patient needs uh, long-term antibiotics, maybe for uh, six weeks, uh, with uh, checking, waiting for the culture and sensitivity results to check uh, the uh, which antibiotic is appropriate. Okay. What is the complication of infective endocarditis? The complication is uh, the thrombus may get lodged from these vegetations and may get uh, in different areas of the body, may get blocked. Like if it goes to the CNS and gets blocked, we may have uh, weakness, hemiparesis, hemiplegia. And uh, in small joints, there can be dactylitis and followed by infection. And even wherever uh, it blocks, there can be infarction and acute uh, pain in any area of the body. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what advices you want to give to the family? Uh, any, uh, uh, I want to advise them because any fever better they have to come immediately to be to evaluate for the evaluation of the patient okay and uh, they have to maintain good oral hygiene for the child uh, any dental and they have to take the prophylactic antibiotics properly and any procedures they have to discuss with the doctor uh, for the if she is in need of antibiotic before the procedure time's up Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. You can give the... Okay, well done. Yes, if uh, any other... Uh, for me, the uh, feedback for you to... Uh, regarding a systemic review, I think better to the case. let us uh, to get a chance to, to get the diagnosis yeah, yeah, alone. You can discuss how she's doing, what she missed, but don't discuss the diagnosing. Yes, we are discussing the performance now. What's the what, what, what? I did not understand what is she telling, Dr. Saria? Yeah, I'm asking Dr. Raola, don't uh, tell us the final diagnosis and the differential diagnosis. If she can comment on your, because still we want to, still we have another diagnosis. If you want to comment on that, you get my point. I mean, let us to discuss together what it could be the differential diagnosis. 
and the point no, in okay, the okay no is... problem before she gives the feedback do you want to i gave three differential diagnosis here my infective endocarditis kawasaki is and sepsis okay uh, yes. i will put sepsis as second and then third as kawasaki is okay because uh, the features i am actually not... infective endocarditis also it can be put at the top of the differential diagnosis yeah. infective especially the case has a history yeah. of cardiac surgery yeah. major so you want to add surgery. any more diagnosis before we discuss go ahead uh, no just uh, in the history, I, uh, I was thinking also, it's better if you ask uh, during admission if she did any investigation, especially this guy, uh, this child on amoxicillin. So she could be asplenia. Uh, so during the admission, they did any <coughs> investigation. Oh, no problem. Let her discuss and then we will discuss. Okay, go ahead, Dr. Ola. Uh, yeah, so during history, I think you prefer to be systematic, uh, to go the systemic review. Uh, before uh, the best history. Uh, just either to take the best history, uh, then you will go uh, to the main complaint and uh, continue the systemic review, or to complete your systemic review with the main complaint. Even uh, I noticed this one also in summary. Uh, for summary, you mentioned the just uh, you comment about the fever. Uh, but you didn't comment other, uh, even the positive finding. Okay. Like uh, joint pain, yes, the fever associated with joint Red pain spots. or uh, uh, decrease, uh, yes, decreasing activity. Um, I think you didn't uh, touch uh, feeding, uh, appetite, and... Uh, yeah, I wrote nutrition, but I did not ask about, uh, I asked about the growth, but I did that not. Diet is diet. very important because she, she, she is bored, she has bored uh, growth. Uh, so important to take the current, now any change in, in the current appetite weight loss, in this current illness, uh, and also take a nutritional history. Yeah. Uh, you ask about the growth, but also any special formula she's using, as she's cardiac case. Mm. Uh, is she using high calorie formula? Still, she is two and a half years. Okay. If, if I would have asked, you would have told that she is using high calorie formula, huh? Mm. Okay. Anything else you want to tell? And, um, okay, this one to be organized. Uh, if you think this is Kawasaki, at least uh, to ask about the other uh, features of Kawasaki. You have to ask about it. Uh, I, you ask about only skin rash, but did you ask about any uh, eye redness, neck swelling? Um, this one peeling of the skin, no, or the swelling, know. hand swelling. So if you are reporting this differential diagnosis, at least to, to ask some question. Okay. To yes. defend your, yourself later on. Mm. So I think with diff other differential diagnosis, uh, can but uh, UTI. Okay. Uh, sepsis, it's okay. For me, infective endocarditis, sepsis. Uh, uh, I think if you bought UTI, uh, it is uh, also well. And uh, for the uh, joint pain, you explain it well, as this is uh, going with the manifestation of infective endocarditis um, or can be reactive arthritis. Uh, okay, and uh, for the comment, just for correction of information, uh, the blood culture for the diagnosing yeah, infective endocarditis, it should be three blood culture. Um, in, uh, it should be taken uh, six hours apart before starting antibiotic. 
and uh, this one to be diagnostic and also for F patient in severe sepsis or septic shock or cardiogenic shock uh, enough to blood culture from different sites to be taken within one hour before starting antibiotic. Okay, three blood cultures. Okay, and other... Mm. Before starting, uh, I think for other things, uh, yes, before you start antibiotics, 18 hours like first blood culture, second 12 hours. After 12 hours, you can give antibiotics, right? Uh, yeah. We are keeping six mm. hours apart. Now I took one culture, then after six hours, second culture, after six hours, third culture, right? Yes, yes, okay. And uh, I think it is better uh, during examination to mention. I want to check for a new heart murmur, new cardiac murmur. In order to complete my exam, what? Uh, no, no, uh, during examination, during after uh, the history, uh, to mention, I want to examine this child for vital signs, for uh, her stability, uh, airway, breathing, circulation, checking heart rate, oxygen saturation also and uh, to examine cardiology examination, particularly for a new onset, new onset cardiac murmur, uh, and to look for uh, the evidence of infective endocarditis. Uh, like um, you, are, you are looking for the uh, like splinter hemorrhage and uh, Genway's legion, um, rot spot in the uh, eye examination, you, you have to offer uh, fundoscopy examination looking for the rot spots and the petechial rash in the oral mucosa um, uh, to check for the dental hygiene, uh, spleen, splenomegaly also. So for the eye, it is two, uh, actually. The subconjunctival hemorrhage and uh, root spots uh, detected by fundoscopy. And the neurological examination, as you mentioned, this is a good question to ask about for any uh, signs of uh, weakness or stroke. So right side weakness, facial uh, near palsy, a sense of stroke due to a cerebral emboli. emboli. Okay. Victor Asaria, do you have uh, other comments? Yes, first of all, mashallah, mashallah, Victor uh, Noor Fatima, mm -hmm. you did well in a good time. My problem with the history is really the time. But mashallah, tabarakallah, you did well in a good time. For me, first, when I hear the, the story of the child, I, I put in my mind infective endocarditis, Kawasaki, respire, recurrent respiratory infection could be due to re, regard or any other abnormality, UTI. And also it could be Brussels, especially child is almost three years, two and a half, right? So uh, what, um, uh, when you are asking about fever, I don't know if you ask about uh, if associated with night sweating or not. And uh, you ask about the eye. And usually, I'm trying to remember myself always. Any cardiovascular case, I'm trying to remember myself. I have to ask about eye, mouth, and new heart murmur. Because usually, I'm forgetting these three points. Eye, mouth, and uh, new heart murmur. Uh, the other things also, I was thinking about it. Um, but new yeah, we have how you will ask to the child. You can tell only in the examination. Like I want to check for a new heart murmur, we can say. Because she already seen by the GB or even if she's following the cardiology. So you can ask the mother, if the doctor told you he noticed anything new in her heart or okay. the, um, if the doctor told you anything new happened to her, he asked to be seen by the cardiology. The other things also, just I, I, uh, I feel you did well because that you have to manage also the time. For me, when I finish uh, from hist uh, for prison, uh, history of present illness, uh, we have like general symptoms. So I ask about trauma, weight loss, and patient activity. 
other people sometimes adding something else, else. But those uh, fever also, if the case is not febrile. So those four symptoms will give you some time, clue for a lot of things. Can you trauma, repeat fever. the French again? Trauma? Trauma, fever, trauma, weight loss or gaining weight and activity of the child. Like a general symptoms. Yeah, weight, I asked about the weight. Yes, you uh, asked. At the time, yes, we asked. also ask about any acute weight loss. And nutrition, yes. I wrote here, but I, despite of writing, I did not ask her about that. Diet. Actually, nutrition just came in my mind. If she's drinking fresh milk, it could be a brosella. But it's a rare, but just that what crossed my mind. But of course, if she's a, a really a cardiac patient following the cardiology, almost she's taking high calorie formula. The other things also, I was thinking about it. Yeah, uh, during admission, if the patient admitted, we have to ask a lot of questions. First of all, as you ask where he admitted, why he admitted, he was following by which team, uh, they did any investigation, they inform you any new things for every admission. I think I asked her for the chest. The, the two the first two admissions were for the yes, operation you asked. was in the dependence unit. For the chest, I asked particularly anything in the heart they told I just you missed the investigation, but you asked about what they told you that you asked. Yeah. Yes, I remember you asked. Any tests? I should have asked about any tests and deletion of the heart like this. Yes, you have to ask about the test done because maybe they scream for something and maybe maybe this baby have another congenital problem we have to notice especially they ha she had a uh, another uh, admission with chest infection and from the history also she's on amoxicillin so it could be again it's across my mind just it could be a, a splenia uh, so if we ask her if she did any abdominal jelly scan of course the mother will tell you it's a small, small thing that I feel, and it's very difficult to collect all of these things. Also, you didn't ask if there is any ear pain or ear discharge. At the differential of what I just needed with fever. That's all, but uh, mashallah. Uh, actually, my differential is near to your differential. I put in my mind first infective endocarditis, kawadaki, respiratory infection, and UTI. This is what, that's what I think about. Uh, but what and did you mean by acyblinia? Functional acyblinia or robust acyblinectomy? It could be two, uh, both of them. If it's a functional acyblinia, maybe they diagnose something during admission, one of her admission. And it could be also if they did any. For um, functional acyblinia, the child is still uh, small, right? She will have so We need some, we need some, uh, we need some uh, information why she's on amoxicillin daily. Since operation, that means they found something during admission for operation, then they start her on amoxicillin, right? But doctor, uh, it cannot be as as a prophylactic for infective endocarditis. No, it cannot be. Doctor Ola, why she is on amoxicillin? Uh, because she is uh, at risk of infective endocarditis. But for this uh, patient, uh, I think it is up to six months uh, after the surgery. See but the indication? Six months, huh? Yes, for up to six months after surgery. That means presently she is not on amoxicillin. Ah, what we understand from the history, she is on amoxicillin since surgery, right? Yeah. That's what I get from the history. Uh, that means she was on amoxicillin for six months after surgery only. Then no, then she is not compared. Then she is not. Uh, I don't know if there is any rules like this. See, uh, in the indication, according to NICE guideline, the indication for antibiotic prophylaxis, uh, structural congenital heart disease, including surgical corrected or palliated structural condition, uh, including ASD. VSD or BDA and the closure device. Yeah, but this is not post surgical. This is if the patient will go for another procedure or surgical, <clears throat> if the patient will go for dental, for any other procedure, he have to take antibiotic in some school now. But we cannot discharge patient on antibiotic unless there is another reason. But it's not for uh, 
uh, what is this? Uh, infective endocarditis. Okay, I want to tell Ola one thing. Uh, she told what she told was right. I went from uh, present history to past history. Actually, usually I write past history in a different way. I thought that if I write far due to the management of time, I may miss it. That's why I mixed it up there. But I shouldn't do it. For me, it's a good idea because sometimes you know a lot of things from the past medical history, right? Time yeah, management for history is very difficult. Lastly, diagnosed, you have to spend time on past medical history. Okay, anyways. Assalamu alaikum. Wa well done, Dr. Inshallah. Uh, but I want to add something. Uh, don't forget an investigation to do a cyst X-ray as a part of initial assessment. And also ECG as a 10, 10, uh, 10 percentage of infective necrotis will have conductive effect. And I heard from you that blood culture you will do at least two. Uh, but in patient info, he said, if you um, if the patient have uh, underlying cardiac uh, cause, mostly you will have subacute presentation. So we must uh, have three set of blood culture, uh, at least uh, six hours in between before start antibiotic. But in patient, just suspicion of infective nucleotides or there is severe sepsis, two sets of blood culture will be enough with one hour in between. For differential diagnosis, Lyme disease is a major differential diagnosis as this is skin rash, also arthritis. So it's a big differential diagnosis with infective nucleotides. For complication, don't forget heart failure. Thank you. You said Lyme's disease? Yes, Lyme disease is a, a big differential diagnosis of infective endocarditis. You have joint, you have skin rash, you have fever. So put it um, with Kawasaki, with others. Okay. Dr. Ola, this thing you were telling, you read the diagnosis and all, you want to add anything for that? You read from NICE guidelines or from where? Yes, for uh, the NICE guideline, actually, uh, they explaining the antibiotic prophylaxis, uh, the indication of uh, antibiotic prophylaxis. And in our case, it is actually the case of infective endocarditis. Uh, I, I, uh, okay, I will tell you the main line of management. Okay, you can, con you tell Dr. Ora. What, Dr. Ola, you are, you are sharing anything or telling what I did not get you? Yes, first of all, let us uh, revise the DOCS criteria for uh, diagnosing infective endocarditis. You will, we have. You will share anything. You are just telling. Uh, okay, I will, I will share it better. Better, because we will be miss points. Mm. Uh, can practice, you give me a chance to share, or I will share it to you? Share I will send the picture for you. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh -uh. Oh, my God. 